friends, this is Eli Yawashir from Chesed Ve'emet, www.lovingkindness.co and I'm here to share a very beautiful poem and a message and a story with you today and it concerns the beauty of nature and trees, God, Torah, as you wish, it's all of the above. And the Torah teaches us in fact that we have to be very sensitive to nature just as we shouldn't harm each other as human beings, we shouldn't act cruelly to animals either and in fact one should be very careful with the vegetative part of nature as well not to just simply break it apart and destroy it. So for example here we see it's a windy day today, you'll probably hear the wind in the background don't let it disturb you, it's part of the poem and the story and the message and one should be very careful, our sages teach us not to even pick off a leaf from a tree just for no reason whatsoever, one should even be careful with flowers not just to pick them up and one just discard them one should be very careful that there's a purpose if one is removing a leaf from a tree because the, tr the leaf actually has a life in it and if we remove it, it's like bringing death to that leaf and there's some sort of a force inside that God has given it and it serves a purpose and we don't know what the purpose is necessarily and therefore we must be careful to enjoy all of nature but not to destroy anything of nature just for the sake of destruction. Children should be taught of course to be very careful not just to remove leaves from trees because there is actual force and life inside the leaf. Those who have uh, gone onto the internet uh, you'll be aware that there are certain experiments that one can see that have been done on leaves to show that even leaves have life and when people talk to nature in a certain way nature sends a message back in the form of waves and the person can actually see that nature is answering and talking to us if we only but listen. It all serves a purpose and we must be careful to know that God has a purpose for every single leaf on the tree. And there's a beautiful Hasidish poem, I'll put the reference in the notes below and I'd like to share this poem with you and I hope that it makes your day and makes you feel that everything is under God's divine providence and it shows us how we must be aware that God is guarding every single thing in creation and if we're going to use something in creation we too must have a great purpose for it otherwise we should leave it as it is because God has a purpose for it. The poem goes as follows it's called the little leaf a little leaf a tree stands tall and high branches reaching for the sky a little leaf without a sound flutters down to the ground a tzaddik who is passing by stops and asks the little leaf why what made you drop from your abode and lie here in the road says little leaf don't ask me I am not the authority the twig I was on gave a sudden shake it was more than I could take twig twig oh authority perhaps you can explain to me why you gave a sudden shake more than the leaf could take says the twig don't ask me I am not the authority the wind gave a sudden whoosh and blew the little leaf loose. Wind, wind, oh authority, perhaps you can explain to me why you gave a sudden whoosh and blew the little leaf loose. Says the wind, don't ask me, I am not the authority. My angel told me what to do, so with all my might I blew. Angel, angel, Oh authority, perhaps you can explain to me why you told the wind what to do and mightily it blew. Says the angel, don't ask me, I am not the authority. The creator of me and you told me what to do. Creator, creator, oh authority, perhaps you can explain to me why the little leaf is shaken free and falls down from its tree. The Creator reveals His inner plan and makes it known to man, take the little leaf in your hand and you will understand. 
See the worm lying there? He was suffering and in despair. He was up there on the tree, breathing heavily. The rays of the sun were so intense, his discomfort was immense. Creator, mercy was his plea. The sun is roasting me. So I commanded the angel right away to send the wind along its way. And the twig began to sway and the little leaf was torn away. And so the sequence was complete, shielding the worm from burning heat. And from the tiny worm, sleep was never so sweet. This is the most beautiful poem and it shares with us that God is watching everything, He's aware of every single thing that's happening in creation and doing things for the best possible purpose for everything. On our side, we should be careful to appreciate what is around us and not to destroy things indiscriminately, thinking to ourselves that we are in charge. Here is the beauty in front of us in a tree. Hidden behind this tree are all sorts of angels controlling how this tree grows, even though we don't see it. And let this be our lesson and to understand and appreciate all of nature and God's mastery and control. The Torah is a tree of life for those who hold on to it. And its supporters are happy. Its paths are paths of pleasantness. The call Nasivosea Shalom and all of her ways are peaceful. This is Eliyahu Shir. I invite you to join me for a private Shir one on one. Just go to my website www.lovingkindness.co and be in touch with me. We can set up a time to learn on any subject of your choice in Torah, a book of your choice, something revealed, something hidden whatever you enjoy most. I look forward to being in touch with you more and hope you enjoyed this video. Please do make a positive comment below, like my video, or subscribe to my channel or do all of the above. Be in touch. Everything of the best. Shalom, shalom.